success is a process not an event so don't settle let's take 10 more steps in this 10 kadam series part 1 we will discuss 10 illustration of laws of motion an object of mass 5 kg is thrown vertically upward from the ground the air resistance produces a constant radiation force of 10 newton throughout the motion the ratio of the time of ascent to time of descent will be equal to gravity is 10 meter per second square suppose we say we are throwing the object in the upward direction like this so when the object is going in the upward direction weight is acting on the object in the downward direction that is the mg and retarding force that is opposite to the motion that is also given by 10 newton downward direction but when this object is coming in the downward direction weight mg will still act in the downward direction but this 10 newton force will act in the opposite direction because it is retarding force which is opposite to the motion of the body and if we calculate the value of the mg in this situation mass is 5 gravity is 10 so mg is given by 50 newton it means when the body is going up upward journey net force acting on the body is given by 10 plus 50 that is 60 newton or we can say net acceleration is given by f by m that is 60 upon 5 so net acceleration is known as a 12 meter per second square but when the body is coming in the downward direction in the downward motion the force acting on the body is given by mg minus 10 mg is 50 50 minus 10 that is given by 40 newton so acceleration when it is coming in the downward direction is known as the 40 by m and it is given by 8 meter per second square so displacement that is same either in the upper direction downward direction so s is given by when upper direction it is given a ut minus half at square but when it is in downward direction it is given a ut plus half a t square let i say this a is the acceleration in the upper direction here also a is the acceleration in the downward direction and same thing for the t, t is the time of ascent and this is time for descent. u is 0 in both the situation, that is given by 0. Now, if we can write the equation and take in the magnitude only, how will we cancelize? And we can say acceleration in the upward direction into t square ascent is given by acceleration in the downward direction and there is t square descent how many call of time of ascent to time of descent it is given by root of acceleration in the downward direction upon acceleration in the upward direction what is acceleration in the downward direction it is given to us that is 8 and upward direction is given by 4 sorry 12 so we reduce 4 to 8 4 is 12 what we are getting we are getting root 2 is to root 3.